Today we will learn a new Vedic Max trick to find the square of a number with zero in between. For example, 605 square, 809 square, 5008 square, 1001 square, 2011 square, etc. Do you want to do this in mind? Then please watch my video till the end. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And give your feedback in the comment box. Let's get started. First, let us take an example. Let us take... 301 square. First, put two partitions here to separate the left part, right part and middle part. To find the left part, we have to find the square of 3. And in the right part, we have to find the square of 1. And in the middle part, First, we will multiply the n two digits and then double them. Double 3 into 1. So, 3 square is 9. We will write as 0, 9. Here, left part, right part and middle part also has to be written in Two digit format as 301 square is closer to 300 and 300 has two zeros so we will write in two digits format we have to write in two digit format so now 3 into 1 is 3 and double of 3 is 6 so zero we will write 0 6 in the right part, 1 square is 1 and 0, 1. This is our answer. Now, let us take another example. Let us take 503 square. First, put two partitions to separate left part, right part and middle part. In the leftmost part, we will find the square of 5. In the middle part, we will multiply in two digits and then double them. In the rightmost part, we will find the square of 3. 5 square is 25. In the middle part, 5 into 3 is 15 and double of 15 is 30. In the right part, 3 square is 9. 9 will become 0 9 because... 503 is closer to 500 and 500 has two zeros. So we have to write in two digit format. So our answer is 2, 5, 3, 0, 0, 9. Now let us take another example. Let us take 908 square. First, put two partitions. Left part, right part and middle part. In the left part, we have to find the square of 9. In the middle part, first we will multiply the n two digits and then double them. Double 9 into 8. 
In the rightmost part, we have to find the square of 8. And 9 square is 81. In the middle part, 9 into 8 is 72. And double of 72 is 144. Can we write 144 like this? No, we can't write because 908 is closer to 900 and 900 has two zeros. So, what will we do? We will carry this one to the left side. So, let's write one here to carry this into the left side. In the right part, it's Square is 64. 64. So our answer is 8. 1 plus 1 is 2. 4. 4. 6. 4. This is our answer. Now let us take another example. Let us take 5008 square. Put two partitions to separate left part, right part and middle part. Here in the left part we have to find the square of 5. In the right part we have to find the square of 8. And in the middle part, first we have to multiply in two digits and then double them. Double 5 into 8. 5 square is 25. 5 into 8 is 40 and double of 40 is 80. Here... We, we have to write as 0, 8, 0 because 5,008 is closer to 5,000 and 5,000 has 3 zeros. So we have to write in 3 digit format. So put 1 zero here and in the right part, 8 square is 64 and 64 is 2 digit format. So put a 0 and write 64. So our answer is 2, 5, 0, 8, 0, 0, 6, 4. This is our answer. Now let us take another example. Let us take 2011 square. Here. What will we do? We will first in the left part. We will find the square of 2. In the right part. We will make this 11 square. Here we will write 11 square. And in the middle part. First, we will multiply 2 and 11 and then double them. Double 2 into 11. In, in the left part, 2 square is 4. Here, um, 2011 is closer to 2000. And 2000 has 3 zeros. So we will write as 0, 0, 4. In the middle part, 2 into 11 is 22. And double of 22 is 44. So we will write as 0, 4, 4. To make this 3 digit format. In the right part, 11 square is 120, 
1. So our answer is 4, 0, 4, 4, 1, 2, 1. This is our answer. Wasn't it an easy trick? Now I will give you some practice questions. After practicing those questions, try to do that in mind. Then bye!